Next question, member for Spadina, Fort York. Speaker, the Centre for Social Justice. This is to the Premier. The Centre for Social Justice estimates that almost half of the 16,000 Ontarians experiencing homelessness have a disability or mental illness. When this government was elected in 2018, 94 people experiencing homelessness died on the streets of Toronto. Last year, in 2021, the number was 216 Ontarians who died on the streets of Toronto experiencing homelessness. People cannot afford housing, and the government's promise to raise the ODSB housing allowance to $522 a month does not provide rental rent for a room anywhere in this province. So my question is, will this government double ODSP rates so that Ontarians with disabilities have a place to live, or will the number of people dying on the streets of Toronto and across this province experiencing homelessness, will that continue to rise under this government's watch? Mr. Children, Community and Social Services. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you for the question. Our, our government is continuously working across ministries to make sure that vulnerable people can get the supports that they need. And our government has invested more in social assistance than any provincial government in history, and I refuse to accept the, 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 the no-nos across the way. Our government has made a historic investment in ODSP. We are aligning that with inflation. And that's not the only thing. We're working with the federal government to create the, uh, the Canadian Disability Benefit. We are urging them to do that on an urgent basis. And it's, it's also across ministries, like I said. It's the micro-credentialing strategy. It's the roadmap to wellness. It's the lift uh, tax credit. It's the care tax credit. It's the child care spaces Response. for education. These are multi-billion dollar investments. And we're going to continue to do this important work, despite what the, the members opposite it will we'll continue to say no. To the Premier, your government continues to boast about raising ODSP rates by 5% to the highest level in history. But during your term of office, inflation has been 12%. And you increased the rates by 1.5% before. So at 6.5%, you've actually an inflate you've you're implementing an inflationary cut of 5.5% on ODSP rates. Today, we're joined by some Ontarians with disabilities. Uh, let's see, one of them, Leslie, it requires a special diet. And she says the broccoli that used to cost 99 cents is now 5.99. And she says it's obvious that this government doesn't care. She says, you know, I might as well eat garbage and die because no one seems to care. And so my question is to the government, you know, stop the spin, stop the rhetoric. People with disabilities in Ontario Question. are dying under your watch. Will you double the ODSP rate so people can live a decent life, yes. Ontarians with disabilities? Thank you. Mr. Children, Community and Social Services. Thank you, Speaker. I don't know how the, the member opposite missed all the, the mentions of all the programs. This is a cross ministries. It's across government. We are working with the, the federal government on the Canadian disability benefit. The previous government had Order. 15 years to create the programs and the supports that were needed. This didn't happen Order. overnight. And just lo and behold, right before the election that they were planning to lose in 2018 is when they finally bumped up the rates. I will not take any lessons opposition from come to order. opposition or from the previous government. We are working on behalf of the most vulnerable people in our society. Opposition come to order. We will continue to do that because we know how important it is for people that we serve, unlike the previous government government and the opposition that supported them and did not.